Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is one week after using this Russell Hobbs iron, I will review it and how it compares to TFL. The reason of this iron was because the TFL, even if it says anti calc and all of that stuff and Tefal is a great brand I was unhappy with a couple of things and they start annoying me as part of my video I will explain how Russell Hobbs compared to this one just to make sure that we've got starting point the Tefal is two times more expensive than Russell Hobbs so if you're on budget and you want to buy iron and model that I've got here I put down below in the description of this video one click away it's really cheap and is it any good? Let's unwrap it. Now, two irons side by side, they are similar in so many ways. Which way is they similar? They're both between 2000 to 2400 watts of power each. What does that mean? Why we've got variation? Because there are some countries we've got a power supply of 220 volts and some countries 240. So that will depend what you get there and also fluctuation within those parameters that comes from the socket. So for example, uh, in Australia, I noticed we've got 240 volts uh, power, but power uh, our delivery varies between 230 to 250 volts. Of course, output of the iron would be different. Now, why did I get Russell Hobbs and why not another Tefal? The biggest complaint about Tefal was the cord length. So if I'm picking up cords together, I kind of move along and Tefal has only two meter cord. It's not even enough for me to reach socket that I can uh, uh, deploy it and iron. I always need extension cord. Now, again, I'm holding them together and pull them together side by side. The Tefal finish, the Russell Hobbs, which is cheaper iron to buy, got another meter and a half of cord. This cord is enough to plug in the socket and actually do ironing. I don't need extension cord. So I just don't get when you buy reputable brand and they start cutting corners on something as silly as power cord. I know they're saving money. But come on, if you send so premium brand, I know that's not best to foul iron, right? But if I've got choice to buy a cheaper one with the same output, why not to buy a cheaper one? So the first, if I compare Russell Hobbs to TFL, Russell Hobbs wins because I don't need any extension cord. The cord is long enough. The second parameter that was important to me is how uh, protective coating on an iron works. So what they say, it's all Teflon, and but the, some coatings are ceramic, some Teflon, some in between. Look, I'm not a chemical engineer, but to me, when you use an iron, it always feels different. And I tell you what, before they warm up completely, the ceramic Teflon looking like coating Tefal getting caught on almost all fabrics. The Russell Hobbs, whatever simple thing they put in, and I'm not sure how durable it is, because this iron now close to seven years old, and this is a new one, but it feels better on fabric, it glides better on fabric, and it goes everywhere. So again, comparing two irons side by side on operation, I prefer Russell Hobbs. Again, expensive irons, uh, iron let me down. Now, the third important point is uh, the steam the anti calc and dripping. Genuinely, I never had an iron that would not drip. The question is, does it drip enough to actually soil the clothes as you iron, or is it just drips and it's annoying, but it does not interfere in ironing? Tell you what, Tefal not only drips, I'm not saying like significant leak, just drip, right? Not only drips, it's also even though it's anti-calc, it does speak calc from time to time. Even it has the door that I clean every time before operation. Everything is clean. It still speaks to calc. So I don't get it. I don't like it. And clothes that are darker in nature, 
it did not work well for me. So I got a little bit annoyed. And again, the rust of hopes time will tell, but I feel it's dripping. It's kind of ascending because of the noises it makes kind of inside, but not all the water coming out. So there's no uh, as much drip as Tefal. About anti-calc, it's too early to tell, you know, it's only one week of operation, calc taking time to build up. At the moment, I'm extremely happy the way it is. Again, Russell hopes win. Now, let's talk about power, glidability, and going into creases. So here you've got two irons that are both same power, but the ends are slightly different. Russell Hobbs a little bit more pointy, when default like more smooth, and I do like how Russell Hob, uh, Hobbs uh, glides. However, even though they've been same power, it feels like Tefal heating up much more significantly. Like it's uh, faster to come up with the temperature and it's getting warmer. Russell Hobbs taking a little bit longer time and it does not heat up as much. You would think it's a negative, but you know, I'm not a professional uh, ironer and sometimes keeping it, especially in, in the synthetic fabrics, keeping it uh, in the same place can burn material, so you've got kind of white marks. Russell Hobbs is more forgiving about this, so you actually will glide slower and you can get things ironed without damaging them. To me, it's an advantage, where it's become a disadvantage. If you've got thicker, cotton clothing that need to be ironed, I don't believe Russell Hobbs will get through it easily, unless you spend a lot of time in one spot which you don't want, and Tefal wins. So, it doesn't quite win. I put it as a draw, because to me, as a person that irons forever, but I'm not a professional ironer, I do prefer how Russell Hobbs behave. But I think Tefal with more potential to get into tougher cotton fabrics. So that's that. Now let's talk about operations. So I'll just plug it in. And before I plug it in, I'll show what do I mean. So Russell Hobbs, even it's a half price, it's completely digital iron, right? So there's no circular adjustment. Here with Tefal, it's not circle adjustment, but there's a lever inside that you pull and choose fabric, but it's literally put the thermostat on a certain temperature. I don't like this because I never could find temperature that is good for me. It's always a game and the temperature is never the same. I was quite impressed by temperature control the trust of Hope introduced. There's a push button on top, you press, it has a color chart here, maybe not visible, but there's a color chart here, and it lights up in a color that is temperature required. And it's so precise and so consistent that I cannot believe that iron of that price could do something like that. So let's plug in and have a look. It will take me for a while, I just want to show you uh, cords, short and long, but if I do it now, uh, let's plug them in and turn on same time Hold on. okay they plug in I'm gonna turn them on same time watch what happens so Russell hopes show you temperature which yellow means it's the most gentle temperature and then when you press button it's changing blue pink green and maximum is red while it's flashing, it's getting up to the temperature. When it's finished, it beeps at you. It is amazing. The temperature control on this, it's great. And it's only controllable by pressing this button. So it's easy to choose, easy to operate, and it's ready for operation. This one has your, oh, the cord is already not enough even to show you. That's my biggest beef with Tefal. The short cord absolutely kills me. But now I've got, see it's beeped, it's ready for operation. The Tefal is still warm enough because there's a red uh, lamp, but it's actually warm enough to um, high temperature and I like it. But the uh, kind of configurator uh, that choose the temperature 
it's so it's not flimsy but it's really hard to get right temperature now that's the temperature perspective where do I love to a little bit more it's amount of steam it generates so for example uh, it just warm up and I press it hold on where's it oh it takes a little bit little while but the steam that come in from Tefal it's a little bit more than Russell Hobbs and I'm not sure if it has to do with the temperature that they're warming up or is it the delivery of steam actually no I'm lying it felt like Tefal doing it better I do feel they do it in the same way but still I feel like Tefal is heating up a little bit more and gives me more opportunity to go on those tough cotton fabrics. So, just remember, this review is completely amateur. It's me getting half price iron compared to Tefal and driving it and trying to understand whether cheaper consumer device could be better than reputable brand. To me today, if I would choose between two, sorry Tefal, I would choose Russell Hobbs. Why? Longer cord, cheaper price, better temperature control, and there's nothing else. I mean like steam, still kind of great. Anyway, that's my choice. Feel free to comment down below if you've got different experience with Russell Hobbs and Tefal. But for now, thank you for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.